and your seeds are about to super bloom. I'm telling you right now, your harvest is about to super bloom. Do you know what that means? There's an acceleration and a bloom supernaturally. You are about to experience a super bloom of God. You, your seeds, your prophetic words, your promises, your babies, it's about to super bloom in the mighty name of Jesus. We're about to see super blooms, super sprouts. Things are going to sprout up. Things are going to spring up. Things are going to about to bloom. We need to pray for our cities. Okay, we need to pray for our cities. We need to pray because uh, God is going to accelerate things. And there's things happening right now. Okay, there's things happening right now. And in Los Angeles, Minneapolis, I know Chicago, New York, Dallas, um, there's, there's going to be riots. Remember Acts chapter 16, riots and revivals go hand in hand. Riots and revival go hand in hand. And I know, listen, last night the Lord kept showing me the w William J. Seymour in the spirit. God is going to raise up a new breed of African-American leaders. God is going to raise up a new breed of, of black prophetic voices. Um, of poets, uh, and God is going to release an anointing uh, upon the African American community, like William J. Seymour, where William J. Seymour, uh, you know, carried the mantle of the Azusa Street Revival. And I believe that in this time, listen, remember, in the days of Azusa Street Revival, amen, in the days of Azusa Street Revival, uh, Af uh, an African American man named William J. Seymour. He is one of his eyes was uh, was closed and, you know, he was known as a one eyed black man. But he came all the way to Los Angeles in search of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And uh, in times of racism and times of segregation and separation, he came to a white person's home at Bonnie Bray House and connected with Filipinos in little Filipino town with Asians. And there was a birthing a revival. And that's how the Azusa Street Revival began. And I believe that God is releasing an Azusa Street Baptism Revival in Jesus. And God, I pray right now for the spirit of unity, the spirit of humility. God, we need you. I need you. We need you, God. I pray right now. Listen, many of you right now, you are feeling the stretch. Okay? You are feeling the stretch and you're feeling... Uh, uncomfortable right now, okay? It's because God is calling you higher. And if you are not focused, I ain't mean, I'm just focused. If you're not focused, then, uh, then you're going to miss out on the next level. And I'm telling you right now, remember, Acts chapter 2, before that, there was 500 people. However, they were pressing in and it dwindled down to 120. Why? Because 380 people with good intentions, good morals, good desires, good thoughts, good hearts, they weren't good enough. Just because you have good desires doesn't mean it's good enough. And they were left behind. Listen, God is stretching you in the spirit. And you feel agitated and uncomfortable like I am now. Because God's calling you higher. And if the standard is not met, if the Kedusha is not raised up, if the bar, the standard, the Lord is my banner, the standard, he will lift up a standard above you. Raboska, if it's not lifted up, then, you're, then you feel like you've missed it. I'm telling you right now, you will not miss the mark. You will not miss what God has for you. The devil is a liar. I come against every spirit of witchcraft and haughtiness. And everything, every high thing that exalts itself against the wisdom and the knowledge of God. I pull it down now. Everything, every lofty thing, every idol will be brought low. Every low thing will be brought up. Prepare the way of the Lord. God, I pray. Stretch out your hands, people of God. I release angels right now. I release the hosts of heaven. Ho! Shoo! Fire, 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 fire. We are one in the spirit. We are one in the Lord. God, I thank you for voices of reform, voices of reformation and revival. God, I pray right now, let the fire of God fall. 
You know what this fire is? It's the fear of God. I feel the fear of God because the fear of God is also attached to the righteous indignation of God. Remember, the fear of God is not just reverence, but it's the terror of God. My gosh. The fear of God is not just honor and reverence, but it's also the terror of of God, where you are so afraid of God because he has authority to throw us in the pit of hell. Listen, people of God, he's releasing the terror of God, the fear of God. Have you been shook? Have you been afraid? Have you been shaking in your boots? Raboska, God is releasing the terror of God. He's releasing the terror of the church. Oh, shoot. My gosh, you and I, we need to we need to get our house in order. Get our hearts in order, people of God. Fire, fire, fire. Get, get your chips in order. You know, I don't want to be the person that that didn't make it. I don't want to be. Even Apostle Paul. Even Apostle Paul said that, I pray that I will not be disqualified. This is the, the writer of the New Testament. The greatest apostle himself. Listen, I don't care if you love Bethel, if you love... Uh, you know, Heidi Baker, listen, yeah, if you love me, but the greatest apostle besides Jesus on earth, Apostle Paul, he himself said, I pray that I will not be disqualified. I pray that I will not, I pray, pray for me that I will run the race, that I will not be disqualified. I don't care how well you ran yesterday. Can you run well today? I don't care how well you performed yesterday. Can you perform well today? I don't care about how great America was yesterday. Can America be great today? Listen, I'm telling you, these are the days of comeback. These are the days of the greater glory. These are the days where it's going to be even more. The day, the glory of the latter will be greater than the former. I'm telling you right now, people of God, that God's going to launch you. God's about to boomerang you. There's going to be a comeback. There's going to be a shift. There's going to be a recompense. There's going to be return. Prodigals are returning i see in the spirit throngs of people on the streets kneeling down before god maybe that's what we need to do while there's protests and riots happening and looting and burglarizing and violence i see in the spirit groups of jesus people out in the streets kneeling down before god on the streets crying out for repentance i see groups of people on the streets on their knees, my gosh, crying out to God for repentance, crying out to God for a revival move of God. Show if my people humble themselves and pray. If my people humble themselves and pray. Someone say amen. And listen, guys, we're literally one day away. We're literally one day away from Pentecost, Shavuot, Rabo. Someone say amen. Listen. I want to share some things right now, but if you've been feeling oppressing, it's because he's about to release a greater glory. Mark his words as a, as a prophet, as a man of God. I'm telling you right now that we are, we are entering. I believe that this is one of the most significant or is the most significant Pentecost Shavuot since, uh, since Acts chapter 2. I believe it right now with all my heart. Hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. God's about to give you a harvest. Listen, I want to talk to you right now. Uh, my prophetic word, the prophetic word that the Lord has given me for the month of June is boom and super bloom. Someone say amen. Boom and super bloom. I believe that God is about to give you a boom in your marriage, a boom in your life, a boom in your finances. Someone say boom, boom. Someone say amen. Listen. Uh, one of the things that I released uh, uh, from Passover to Pentecost is that there's going to be a boom. And I believe that from May to June, there's going to be an economic boom in America. All right, someone say amen. However, uh, a boom, of course, has to do with riots. It has to do with movements. It has to do with voices. It has to do with reformation. There's there's a boom that's happening. Um, oh, shka ba ba ba. Remember, in Acts chapter 2, the tongues of fire, the baptism of the Lord came and they began to roll around and there was, you know, people thought they were drunk on, but uh, Apostle Peter said they're drunk on a new wine. 
They're drunk on the new wine. God, I pray, give us the new wine. The reason why you're stretched is because you're the new wineskin. You are the new wineskin. Make me a vessel. Make me an offering. Make me whatever you want me to be. I came in with nothing. All you have given me. Jesus, bring new wine out of me. There's about to be a new substance. There's about to be a new weight. There's about to be a new glory. God, I pray today for every single person now. Shoo! So, listen. In this month of June, there's going to be a boom, people of God. And I, I want to say this one thing. You know, yesterday, uh, there was supposed to be the launch of SpaceX. Yesterday is May, 20, uh, May 27th. But there was supposed to be a launch of of uh, the SpaceX with NASA out of Florida, but it was delayed. But God, uh, I, you know, it was delayed because of storms. Rabashka. However, it's going to be launched now on Saturday, which is Pentecost Shavuot. God is about to launch, release a launch and a boom with signs in the sky. God is about to release a launch and a boom, signs of the sky. On Shavuot, on Pentecost. Someone say amen. I pray for Pentecost fire. I pray right now that you will release the fire and the power of God. I pray right now that you release an ignition of the fire and that you would burn, baby burn. I pray now in Jesus' name that you would come with apostolic dunamis boom. Rabaska. And I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will release the conviction of God. The fear of God. The terror of God. Listen, people. Hear these words. Many people are going to come to repentance. Many people are going to come to repentance. In, in these next few days to week, many people are going to come to repentance. Okay, Men, I see throngs of people on their knees in the streets crying out to God for justice. And listen, there's going to be uh, leaders such as Martin Luther King Jr. rising up. There's going to be a new movement of MLK Juniors rising up. You know, he's one of my favorite uh, figures, uh, historical figures. But God's going to raise up new MLK Junior figures to be a voice of reform, to be a voice of peace, to be a voice uh, of change. Hallelujah. God's about to release something great. Uh, so Sivan, uh, we're, we're in the Hebrew month of Sivan right now. And Sivan... Someone say Sivan. Sivan is S-I-V-A-N. And this month, Sivan, it stands for a season of time. Okay? It stands for a season of time. And the reason why this month is so significant is because of Shavuot. It's because of Pentecost. Remember, there was seven weeks of counting. It's called counting of the Omer. Seven weeks of counting. 49 days. Seven weeks. Seven weeks of seven days. 49 days. Until... Tomorrow, Friday, which is Pentecost Shavuot, which stands for harvest, all right? It, it's a harvest festival. And of course, this was a time where Moses received the word of God. Moses received the tablets, the Ten Commandments. Years later, we see Acts chapter 2. We see Acts chapter 2. Someone say amen. Listen, I want to read Acts chapter 2 uh, to every single one of you here this morning in Jesus' name. Give me some hearts and likes for people like God. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. Amen. When the enemy is trying to divide and release discord and division, Rababa, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind. And it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And the divided tongues as a fire appeared to them and rested on each of them. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit, began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. The reason why this Hebrew month, Sivan, or June, is so important is because there was a release of the Holy Spirit. There was a boom of God. Listen, I want to tell you, in this month of June of Sivan, expect these three things. Number one, your boundaries are about to expand. 
Your boundaries are about to expand. What does that mean? Wineskins, your territories. There's going to be supernatural expansion. Where people have closed, you're going to open. Where people have thrown in the towel, you're going to receive. You're about to gain new lands. You're about to gain new territories. The book of Psalm 16 says that uh, spread out. Uh, pleasant places. The boundaries have fallen for me in pleasant places. My gosh, I feel the Holy Ghost. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Which means that God is expanding and stretching your boundaries, your territories. Because there's a harvest that's coming. More is coming. Souls are coming. Come on, who hears me today? People are coming to your home. People are coming to your ministry. People are coming to your Facebook Live online broadcast. Your boundaries are exploding like a wineskin. Things are exploding. Amen. Remember, the upper room was a womb of God. The upper room is a womb or is the belly of God that exploded, that expanded, expounded, and exploded. And the church was born. Someone say amen. So I believe in this month, God is spreading out your boundaries. Hallelujah. Your boundary lines are expanding. You're gaining new territories. You're gaining new mantles, treasures. Rabash God. You're gaining new insights. Amen. Uh, also in this month of June of Sivan, of Shavuot. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, this is a month where there's going to be a great... Uh, bread. Someone say bread. Okay. There's going to be bounty of bread. Remember, uh, Bethlehem. Bethlehem means the house of bread. All right. Uh, God's about to release supernatural provision for you. God's about to release manna for you. All right. God is about to release the word of God. Remember the Torah, the word of God stands for, uh, stands for, uh, bread. Okay, stands for wheat, stands for grain, stands for a harvest. And at Pentecost, the Torah, the word of God was given. And also at the same time, uh, it stood for harvest. It stood for the barley harvest. You follow me? So I believe in this month of June, you're about to have fresh bread. In this month of June, you're about to have fresh manna. In this month of June, you're about to have fields and bounty and abundance of bread, even of financial bread. Remember, bread stands for not just what you eat. It doesn't only stand for the word of God, but bread stands for economic harvest. God's about to give you an economic harvest in this month of June. If you believe it, say amen. Listen, I've been prophesying this for months. April to May, the ban will lift. All right, it's already happened in many states. Although there's a lot of unjust and evil, corrupt politicians and governors that are trying to keep it bound. And of course, even with the riots, this is a tactic of the enemy to send in martial law and to continue to release corruption and uh, to continue to keep a lockdown. So we need to pray against that, people of God. So the Lord told me April to May, the bans will lift. It's happened in many states it, and there's a fight against that. May to June, there will be a boom. Someone say boom. There's going to be a Pentecost, the boom. It's going to be seen. It's going to be heard. And these riots and all these things happening, this is part of the boom. Listen, right now, today, on May 28th, listen, the Dow, the stock market is at 26,658. It's increasing every day. All the month of May, it's been increasing. Someone say increase. So this is the month where God's giving you bread. All right, this is a time of come up. This is a time of boom. Someone say boom. I prophesy over all the business owners. Get ready for a boom. I prophesy over every ministry. Get ready for a Pentecost boom. Get ready for a Pentecost harvest. God's about to release increase, supernatural expansion, rabba, supernatural growth. It's going to happen quickly in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone say amen. So expect Bread, the bread of life. Jesus himself said, I am the bread of life. My gosh, God's going to give you fresh bread, fresh harvest, bounty, abundance of bread in the mighty name of Jesus. If you receive that, say amen. And also in this month of Sivan or of June, this is a month, wow, of the super bloom, okay? The super bloom, all right? This is a month of the super bloom. Uh, listen, uh, about two years ago, last year, two years ago, remember in California, we had a drought. 
but the drought is over. Amen. The drought is finished. And there was so much rain that the flowers began to super bloom. The California golden poppies, a state flower began to super bloom. People began to drive from all around to see the sight. Listen, your seeds are about to super bloom. I'm telling you right now, your harvest is about to super bloom. Do you know what that means? There's an acceleration and a bloom supernaturally. You are about to experience a super bloom of God. You, your seeds, your prophetic words, your promises, your babies, it's about to super bloom in the mighty name of Jesus. We're about to see super blooms, super sprouts. Things are going to sprout up. Things are going to spring up. Things are going to about to bloom. Things are going to happen quickly in Jesus' name. Wow. Someone say amen. One of the words uh, for Sivan uh, in Exodus 19 verse 2. It, it comes from the same word of Vayakhan. Say Vayakhan. Vayakhan means to be camped. Okay. Vayakhan. So June is Sivan. And Sivan also comes from the word Vayakhan. And Vayakhan means to be camped. This is the same word Exodus 19.12. Where Israel camped before God in the mountain. Israel camped. Someone say camped. Listen, I'm telling you right now. God is about to release a habitation of glory to those people who camp before him and beside him. Listen, God is about to release a habitation of the glory of God as you camp before him and beside him. Whatever, if you've camped around him, remember we camp around the glory of God, not around doctrines, not around personalities, but there's... There's, there's a camping glory. There's a visible presence that he's going to camp with you and around you, upon you in Jesus' name. Someone say amen. It's the month of Vayachan where God's going to camp with you. All right. Listen, I want to I wanna give you the last point here. Expect this in this month. You're, there's going to be the breath of God in this month. All right. So number one, your boundaries are expanding. Number two. Expect the super bloom. Amen. Expect the, the bread of God and the super bloom of God. And number three, expect the breath of God. There's angels being moved right now. Listen, do not be fooled. There's more angels at work than devils. Do not be fooled. The Holy Spirit is at work even more than uh, fallen principalities. Okay. But uh, there's going to be a boom. There's going to be a super bloom. God's giving you fresh bread. Okay. And God is also releasing the breath of heaven. Okay. What does that mean? Come on. Someone say preach, Pastor Ben. The breath of heaven stands for the winds of God. Stands for, listen, Jesus said that the people that are born of the Spirit of God are like the winds. They go to and fro. There's going to be movement. There's going to be a cleansing. There's going to be a sweeping. I see the Lord sweeping the house, sweeping the White House, sweeping the church house. There's going to be a sweepstakes that's going to happen. God is sweeping. God is cleansing. God is blowing. There's a fresh breath. There's a fresh second wind. If you felt tired, there's a second wind from heaven that's going to blow. That's going to breathe. There's a breath of God that's going to come. It's not a bad, stinky breath, but it's the breath of the Holy Ghost. Come on. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 2 that the whole place was shook. Because of a mighty rushing wind. God is about to release a wind of God. The breath of God is about to blow. And listen, when the breath of the Holy Spirit comes upon America, comes upon the church, there's, there's a power that's released. There's a thrust. There's a gush of wind. There's a cleansing. There's a power. There's an energy. Remember, the number of people, you, you could have oil energy, you could have solar energy, or you could have turbine, wind energy. God's about to release angels to thrust you, to move with you, and angels are sent out on assignment. Angels are sent out Raboska right now like a mighty rushing wind. Like, listen, God's going to move you to and fro. There's the winds of God, the movements of God, the breath of God. Harabahaya. God's going to move you, people of God. So in this month of June, expect a boom. All right. Yeah, these protests, riots, 
but also there's going to be a financial boom. Someone say amen. Expect a boom. There's going to be a boom in the church, okay? Uh, expect a super bloom of bread, fresh provision, fresh word, fresh manna, fresh barley. It's time for the harvest. Prodigals are coming. I see people repenting, crying out to God. And also expect, wow, my gosh, expect the breath of God, the angels of the Holy Spirit to breathe upon you. Shush, get it, Iska. Expect it. Your boundaries are expanding. Your tent pegs are stretching. You're being stretched in your soul, your body. God is stretching you. Some say hallelujah. Your boundary lines are stretching or expanding. Father, I pray right now. Tomorrow is Pentecost. Tomorrow is Shavuot. I believe it's the greatest Pentecost since Acts chapter 2. And I pray right now for all my friends and all my family. That they would stay in the fire. You would stay in the glory. That you would stay in the place of prayer. Listen, some of you need a fast, okay? Listen, I want to I wanna tell all of you, many of you need a fast. Stop being distracted. Stop being in the flesh. Stop being discouraged. Get out of, um, uh, get out of a spirit of carnality. You need to get into spirit, people of God. You need to press in, okay? Because God has something great for you. God is about to release something supernatural, okay? From today, tomorrow, and even Saturday. I hear the Lord saying, watch and see what I will do. I will release signs in the sky and signs on the earth. I am raising up a new move of Jesus' people. A new move. I see people, wow, carrying the Ark of the Covenant on their shoulders, on the broad daylight in the streets. People are going to carry the presence of God into the streets. And I see new Martin Luther King Jr. figures. Voices of reform, voices of change rising up. New African-American leaders, new African-American voices of change, of power, of politics, of reform. I see Rabat, a William J. Seymour anointing that God's going to give to the African-American church. God's about to release a, a William J. Seymour like Azusa Street Pentecost power. Come Holy Spirit. The Comforter has come. The Comforter has come. God is about to expand your boundaries. He's about to release bread. A boom and a super bloom. Ha ha. And he's about to release. Wow, my gosh. He's about to release the breath of God. The breath of heaven. Listen, I want to pray for all of you right now. Father, I pray. Holy Spirit. I pray for every single person watching now. And on the replay. I pray, Father. That you would strengthen them. You would encourage them. God, I thank you that you're, you're releasing fresh winds in America. Winds of change in our nation. You are releasing winds of change in the church. God, I pray that your conviction would come. The conviction, remember, in Acts chapter 2, when the power of the Holy Ghost fell, people were convicted. People were mocking. People were making fun of them. People were making fun of them. People were mocking. People were criticizing. My gosh, God, we just repent right now. Lord, and I thank you. I heard the Lord right now. I'm reminded. Before Acts chapter 2 happened, what happened? Judas hung himself, so they had to choose another apostle. They chose another apostle. I hear the Lord saying, I'm about to replace Judas, I'm about to replace your Judas with Matthias. I'm about to replace. There's replacing going on. There's a restoration, a replacing going on. God's about to replace vacant and empty spaces. God's about to replace leadership roles. God's about to replace. Say replace. My gosh. God, I pray for the fire of God. Robo, God's about to bring the missing link. God's about to bring the missing piece. Someone say amen. Hallelujah.